Hello everybody, this is Julian And this is Ashley And today we will be doing a guide To shopping in Simlim We'll be doing this guide floor by floor Because there are just way too many stores to cover here We will do it store by store Once YouTube show us that y'all will watch one hour video First, you need to understand the mall's layout There are two parts to it inner and outer section. The inner section usually looks very attractive and presentable, but sometimes the good deals are hiding in the outer section. Because of COVID-19, there are two entrances and exits, and one emergency exit. If you go down to the basement like we did, you're going to have to walk out and around to get back to the main part of the mall. So just a heads up. When you enter Simlim Square, the first floor is full of the fanciest, prettiest, and most attractive stores. There will always be one or two salespersons right outside the brightly lit store with large signs indicating slashed prices and discounts, touting wares to passerbys. Accompanied by loud music, a marketing ploy designed to grab your attention. If you're not interested, just keep walking. The stores here range from phone and phone repair stores to camera stores in the inner section to audio equipment in the outer section. Even though these stores on the first level may look bright and attractive, don't set your heart on a deal on the first floor. Check out the higher floors because the higher up you go, the higher your chances of securing an even better deal. On the second floor, the thing that caught our eye was that the outer section has food! It even has a really cool cafe that Julian will be going to right now. The cafe is called Zeppelin & Co. It's a really interesting concept where they have lots of high-end headsets and you can try them while having a cup of tea or coffee. Other than food, the stores here sell keyboards, server mounting racks, monitor stands, multi-monitor racks and this too. On to the third floor. It's a repair heaven for PCs, so scout around here for a good deal. There are also stores for audio solutions for home systems and video production, and a really cool retro gaming store. The next floor is where the PC components start. So Julian will take over. That's right, the fourth and fifth floor onwards is PC Paradise. There are stores like Biz, Gram and Best Price on the inner section that will give you a good deal, but it's worth to explore the outer section for stores like Trade Pack. I can't tell you for sure which stores will give you the best deals because this will depend on what brand of PC components you are getting and which stores have them. It's all about supply and demand. High demands, low supply equals high prices. Likewise, low demand, high supplies equals low prices. I recommend you list down your components on a piece of paper and give the list to multiple stores to ask for a quotation. After you get a quotation, you can probably bargain slightly, just ask nicely, can you do a better price or any discounts? And you might get a better deal. If the price isn't right, then just decline nicely. If you don't have time to go to multiple stores, you can actually call the stores to get a quotation. Ask them for availability, brands, release date, and price. With the RTX 3080 launching soon, I'll definitely be making a couple of calls to the stores to see whether I can get my hands on the RTX 3080 as soon as they are in Singapore. Simling Square often has controversial image because of the scams taking place within the mall. So far, from my experience, I haven't run into any scams from PC component stores. Even then, if the prices are too good to be true, they probably are. A quick Google search on the approximate product price will help give you an idea of the cost of the product. This doesn't just apply to Simling Square, but to any time you are purchasing PC components, especially secondhand products off carousel or something. It's also good to take extra precaution by checking all products in store before bringing them home and to always keep the receipts. You can take a photo of the receipt in case you lose the physical copy. Lastly, we have the 6th floor. There are stuff in 6th floor, but we don't usually talk about the 6th floor. There's a KTV. I don't know why is it there. Julian for the future here. I already edited a video and I realized the video is actually pretty short. So, you know, why not y'all ask me some questions about Simlim and then I can just answer them. So a lot of y'all ask me which is the best shop or store to buy PC parts. Like I said before, there's no one place you can get the best deals. It's usually depending on time and stocks. How to bargain though, you really have to be nice. You cannot do what you do in Thailand like, hey, $2, $2. No, 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 cannot, 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 cannot. Oh, no, you can't do that. You have to go like, uh, can you be cheaper? A bit more manners. Someone asked me where do I personally shop? I do it at Trade Pack. They're one of the stores in the outer section. There are pros and cons to that store. The pros is if you're flexible with your parts, meaning you can change your parts easily. You don't need a specific brand. You can get them fast and cheap. But if you die die want to have like the NZXT case or the Cost Air Platinum PSU, then you might need to wait damn long and pay an extra cost for it because the supply is low. If you watch my videos two years ago where I built the $4,000 white PC, we had to wait about four to six hours for the parts. Here's the thing, you really have to explore. 
I can't do it for you because I don't know what parts are you getting. Blaster Blade asks, are prices on Simlim Square online stores, example Dynacore on Lazada, cheaper than their physical stores or is it the other way around? I can tell you for now, physical store can be cheaper. Here's why. Online stores, they don't budge. You cannot bargain. They just put the amount of money that they will earn money. But when you go down to the store, they can actually check supply and they can actually ask the person, hey, how much can we sell it? And they can actually give you a better price. At least that's what I experienced at Trip Pack. L2 asks for a layout match in which I can find each comp computer component example ram level 3 so here's the thing you usually don't find a store that sells individual components each store want you to buy all the parts in that store because they earn more money that way if they don't have the parts you want they will suggest something else fried chicken boy 9 also asked would it be more worth to buy it off amazon since there's amazon prime or just buy it from simlim this like the diner call lazada question is very similar you probably will get a better price in simlim square i say probably yeah but here's the thing there are times where amazon has really cheap deals like even simlim square cannot be and also if you have Amazon Prime, you get free shipping. And for me, the travel to Simlin Square to buy it and then to come back can be quite costly, can be quite tiring. If let's say you're, you're, you stay in Jurong, you have to pay maybe $15 to $25 grab fee. That is the cost of getting the PC, if you think about it. It really depends on your situation and whether you can get a good deal on Amazon Prime. Where to buy racing sim equipment? There's actually one store in Simlim you can get it. I think it's the 4th or 5th floor. I'm going back there tomorrow to take some shots, but I'll put it in the screen now. I'll put in the, the, I'll put in the store unit. But if I'm not wrong, they only have the entry level stuff, not the expert level. If you're looking for entry level, I guess that's where you can get. Whether is it a good deal, I'm not quite sure. Cool gadgets in Simlim Square. You can actually get it in the first floor. In the middle, first floor, there's a whole bunch of random gadgets. And honestly, the first three floors got a lot of random gadgets you can find. One more tip I can give you is that every store actually have this piece of paper that will give you the price of each component. Now that's COVID-19, it's a little bit dangerous because we are passing the paper around, people have been handling it. If you want to be safer, you can actually go to Hardware Zone and download the price list from there. Which that said, you need to register an account on Hardware Zone to get the price list. I'm not sponsored by them, I'm not sponsored by Trade Pack. I'm just, that's, that's, that's just how I shop. So I hope this video really helped you out a lot and we're going to go back to the main section for the outro. We hope you found this video helpful, insightful. Hopefully you don't get scammed. Let me know in the comments if you want to know more about Simlim Square. And I guess we are done. Huh? We are done. Thank you, Ashley. <gasps> Ashley. Ashley is behind, you know, we, we keep swapping. Uh. You do, I do, we do, we do. Uh, so, fun. Let's go.